Okay, the intention of this video is to show you guys um, what happens during a run. We tried to film before a run, but there was a few oil downs and breakdowns from other cars, so we weren't able to. So here we are at the start of the video, uh, approaching the burnout box, and um, the car was running for a little bit of time just prior to this, obviously because of those other cars that broke down, but your normal typical time is around 10, 15 minutes. Uh, prior to the run. So this is Moe's car um, All up he's running a 955 lower pulley and a 255 upper which is 44% overdriven so it's Really heavily overdriven so we will see the intake temps go quite high here um, right, What we're coming up to here is obviously He's about to do his burnout. He's at 6 degree IAT Started off around five, six degrees, doing his burnout. Quite a big burnout. Now, obviously, we'll go go back and uh, reverse back in. So, look, stay tuned to the the video. Uh, it's not as boring as, as this part of the video is. Um, this is just going to show you the intake air temps and then after this we'll show you uh, external of the car that run and then also an interview with the driver as well talking about the mods, who tuned the car, all that sort of stuff. Um, so you guys know as well, uh, the car was built by House of LS and tuned by LSX Performance. Uh, LSX Tuning, sorry. LSX Tuning. Um, so they're both in the Sydney district. All right, so now we're staging the car. He's around seven degree intake air temperature. Obviously, like we said, we're at 44% overdriven. So highly likely the intake temps are gonna rise up pretty quickly. And we'll see here, he crosses the finish line. The yellow mark is on the side there at 51 degrees. Now we're seeing here, we've got the 12 litre reservoir on the, on the car itself. So he's obviously only used about 30% of that fluid volume during the actual run. So now that fluid's, the other 70% of the fluid's rushing through, cooling everything back down. You can see he's at 21 degrees. Now he's nearly back to the ambient air temperature of 20. Now he's back to 20. On the return road, going back to obviously, go back around again, helmet off there. The sleeves up. So yeah, obviously now on the run, going back. Um, obviously, this is a bit of a boring part for you guys, but at least here you can see this is this is exactly what it's like to own a chiller. So he's coming back down. He's already put below the ambient air temperature. Um, we can see he's obviously applied all of that heat during the burnout and the quarter mile pass, which has obviously heated things up. Now it's being all cooled back down again, and uh, we should see what his intake temps are just prior so to recap he started with a five degree intake air temperature uh, when he did the burnout so I um, believe he gets pretty close back to that when we get back around to after get collecting the time slip so still on the return road here there's another cars passing there Now, although it was um, 20 degrees there, it was actually quite warm uh, because of the sun as well. 20 degrees is obviously not that hot, but the sun definitely made it feel hotter than that. We were all wearing t-shirts, um, and we all actually got a bit sunburnt too. Um, this was a pretty decent pass from memory. I think it was a 10-2-2 um, at nearly 139 mile an hour. See a bit of traffic there in front of him holding him up. It's a long video, but at least to show you guys exactly this is exactly what it's like to own a chiller. Like, there's no two ways about it. This is what it's doing. So there, uh, Oz from House of LS said, you know, nearly 139 mile an hour. Go around again, have another run. Coming up to collect the time slip here. Ok, 
Okay, Thank so you. we've collected the time slip. We're back to a 10 degree intake air temperature. And obviously the chiller's working to cool this back down again. He's now basically, you know, essentially he's ready to run again. Um, making his way back around. And he's obviously taking the shortcut through there. around the staging lanes. This is on the IHRA test and tune day, so there was obviously minimal traffic uh, compared to like a normal street meet. So he's in the staging lane now, eight degree intake air temperature, and about to pull up and, and turn the car off. There we are, this is back to eight degrees. Okay. We're here with Moe and uh, I'm just going to ask him a few questions about his car. So firstly, uh, what mods are done to the car? Uh, well it's got the, it's got a cam, yep. it's got the interchiller, um, it's got obviously boost, yep. bottom pulley, uh, top pulley as well, um, upgraded protection and a tube. Okay, and uh, so far what's your best ET that you've done with the car? Uh, the best ET we went on Wednesday night, we went 10.5. Yep. 137.6. Yeah, and the weather was a bit colder. It was. We're still getting a lot of wall spin. All yep. first. Um, it was, it was our best time. So and today, a little bit hotter today. What did you do today? It is hotter today. We couldn't get it to stick. We ran at 10 2, 2 Best time. Yep. A big mile an hour. 38.6, I think it was. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, awesome. And, um... Just so people can understand, what do you typically do, you know, prior to a race? Like how, how far before you start up and all that sort of stuff? We started about maybe 10 to 15 minutes um, before we're about to race. Yep. And I usually get it down to about anywhere from uh, one to minus three, okay. depending on the day. Yep. Um, don't like to have it on too, too long. Yep. I just have it on too, too long because that's a slow to break up. Yep. So 10 15 minutes is perfect. After the burnout, it probably goes up to about 14, 15. Um, then when I come to stage, I'll just take my time a little bit. It usually drops down anywhere between three and eight degrees when I actually take off. Yeah, and by the time you get back to the pits, what, are you back to a minimum temperature again, or? Yeah, every single time. It pretty much. Goes back down to pretty much, probably around about zero, one, yep. minus one. Just and it's basically at that point, you're ready to go again. Ready to go again. Yeah. It doesn't take, for my car anyway, 10 minutes. Yep. Um, and it's it's pretty much ready to go. Yeah. Between 10 and 15 minutes. It doesn't need any longer than that. And um, so who who did the mods to the car for you as well? All the mods, all the setup, the whole thing is done by uh, Alsa Velez. Yep. Uh, Uts Baron. Really knows what he's doing. He sets up the car really, really well. Um, and the car is tuned by LSX Tuning Gurch. Yep. Um, I think it's a great tune. Attention in the pits, just letting everyone know that staging lanes will be closing months, at 3.30 um, today. That is, staging yeah. lanes will be closing at 3.30. Stock bottom end, running 98 fuel, stock gearbox, stock diff. Uh, so the car's running really well for what it is. And it's, yeah, thanks to these two guys. They do a great job. Yeah, Very beautiful. Well, thanks for talking to us, Moe. We'll talk to you later. No problem. Thank you.